Did you know that you can get paroled into the United States? What is a parole? What are the requirements? How is it done? We're going to get into it today. My name is Umberto Gray, and you can always get me at hrg at graylaw.com. Go to my website, graylaw.com, see exactly who I represent. Hey, we got a lot to unpack today, so let's get at it. All right, so the Biden administration is rolling out what's called paroles. You can get paroled into the United States. What is that? A parole basically allows you to enter the U.S. legally. It usually provides for two years where you can remain in the U.S. and you can get work authorization. There's many bases on which you can get a parole, family reunification, asylum, that's where you have to prove credible fear, and then you're paroled into the United States. There's humanitarian, significant public interest where you can get paroled into the United States. So there's a lot of basis on which you can come to the U.S. on this parole. So how is this being rolled out, right? So the Biden administration, in order to stem the flow of migrants at the southern border, is doing something pretty incredible, folks. He is creating a mechanism by which you can get appointments to get paroled into the United States. Let's talk about the four different ways, all right? Number one, CBP-1 app. I put a link in the description box below. It's gonna tell you all about this app uh, and, and how it's utilized. <clears throat> but basically, this app are for those who are at the southern border. You could be from anywhere. I've had clients from Russia. I have clients from all over the country, typically where there are uh, areas where you have a credible fear of returning to. I've had from Iran, I've had from the Middle East, I've had from many different places where if you are in Mexico at the southern border, instead of rushing the border to claim asylum, what you do is you have a mobile app. It's called CBP-1. You get on the mobile phone and you make an appointment. You make an appointment at the southern border. It's taking about two months to get that appointment. You go in and then you demonstrate your credible fear. I've had lots of people being paroled into the United States in that manner. It's a lot better than waiting at the border in unsafe conditions, all right? Number two, the CBP-1 mobile app in Cuba, Venezuela, Haiti and Nicaragua. These are places, as we know, currently it's a mess. There's turmoil. Individuals are not safe in these countries. And so what they can do is they can be paroled into the United States. You get on the app, you complete the information. Uh, if approved, then you're able to get on a flight and come to the U.S. Once you're in the U.S., then they will parole you into the United States. Again, it's in those countries that you use the app. It's You don't have to go to Mexico. You don't have to travel all the way to Mexico, right? So you can use the app in those countries, get the appointment, come to the U.S., be paroled into the U.S. Number three, this is brand new, folks. This is just rolled out. It's called regional centers. So these are centers in Central and South America. They've already rolled out in several countries in South and Central America and they're rolling out a lot more. So these are processing centers. You make an appointment in the country and you can be processed for different types of visas, family reunification, humanitarian re reunification. These are gonna actually be apart from State Department. It's gonna be separate, okay? It's gonna be a processing center. These are typically gonna be really, really good for the family reunification, which is the fourth way to get paroled into the United States. So if you have an I-130 that has been approved in the U.S., let's say, for example, it's a sibling petition. Let's say your brother applied for you uh, and it's not current yet. You still have years to wait until it is current. Instead of waiting in your home country, you're able to come to the U.S. You could be paroled into the U.S. and stay here, be able to work, et cetera. That's called family reunification, fourth way to get paroled into the United States. Hey, YouTube family and GN subs, thanks so much for watching Gray Law TV. Click below, like, and subscribe. Make sure you go to my content, good stuff there. Uh, frequently asked questions, lots of great videos. You can learn immigration for free. Alrighty, we'll see you next time.